first trip north of the border this season in perfect timing. It's a party in this city this time of year at the beach and at the ballpark. It's been roaring this week. But for now, roof open, temps in the 70s, two of the AL's finest. The MLB Game of the Week live on YouTube is presented by Jersey Mike's. The Tampa Bay Rays crack open a five-game series over a four-day span with the Toronto Blue Jays at Rogers Center in Ontario. We are thrilled to be here. Hello to everyone watching worldwide on YouTube. I'm Scott Braun with my good friend Yonder Alonzo, the former All-Star. We made it through customs. That's a win. We did. We got our bags. Let's make it through the open then, too, let's shall go. we? So let's start with this Toronto Blue Jays team. Offensive firepower. But the man leading the charge right now, are you a Star Trek guy? Capitan? You know, what does this guy not know? Okay, so you guide me through what Captain Kirk brings to the mix oh, for Toronto. Man. He's been unbelievable. Look, highest OPS since May 2nd, but I'll go even better. He's number one in war as a catcher in MLB with a 3.2 war, but what I'm most excited about is his on-base percentage. This guy just does not strike, strike out. He just doesn't do that. And, and when we talk about his defensive skills, he's got seven defensive runs saved, the second most of all catchers. This guy is absolutely doing it all, Scotty Brown. And look, we're seeing it right now with the votes, 3.3 million, just behind Judge and Trout. That's a lot of votes right there. He is the most popular player in Toronto at the moment. Hey, I know there's some other big names. There's Scotty Jr., there's Bo, but they are supporting this man. Look, he can do the thing with his... I can do it. And I can't do it. Everyone else <laughs> in the room here, the crew can do it besides me, apparently. But point is, Alejandro Kirk can flat out hit. He has been doing it ever since through the minor leagues up into the bigs. He is a tough out right now for Toronto. They're taking on a Rays team that won the division last year, and they're still in a good spot. They're in a playoff position. They're just not leading the division. They're double-digit games back at the Yankees. Can you read an x-ray? So-so. So-so, okay. I've had too many surgeries. I appreciate the honesty you have. That's true. So you can at least help me out here with Tampa Bay's x uh. because it is full at the moment. Brandon Lau. Big season last year. He's been hurt since the middle of May, and they're missing him with the lower back issue right yeah, now. Yeah, and let's not forget, 39 homers, 99 RBIs last year. He's in the middle of that lineup, as well as Mike Zunino, who's a catcher, and we know he can slug with 33 homers and 62 RBIs. He's an all-star. He was an all-star last year, and he was off to a fine year as well. They need those two guys back, no question about it. And then when you look at Manuel Margot, He's the guy that kind of gets everybody going. He's the hybrid, right? He can play third, he can play first, he can play second, he can play the outfield. They need Manuel Margot to be back, but it's going to take some time. But right now they're okay with the reigning American League Player of the Week, who they acquired in a trade right around the start of the season. They deal Austin Meadows for Isak Paredes, and look at him go not in the first 20 games, of the season, but all of a sudden, in the last few weeks, he has found his power stroke, and he is a force in the middle of the lineup. Yeah, I mean, look, remember the guy they traded for in Austin Meadows, 27 homers, 106 RBIs? Well, when they traded for him, they traded for this guy, Paredes, and he's been on a tear last 21 games, absolutely slugging the baseball at 677. His comp is Yandy Diaz. I think he's even better. I think when we look at him and the coaching staff, what they've done with him, they said, hey, take some more chances when you don't have two strikes. And when you have two strikes, go back to those skills that you already have, your bread and butter, and become that skillful hitter that you got to not strike out. Tampa Bay Rays manager Kevin Cash said, quiet guy, but loud bat. Oh, right now. loud. And they are loving it, just like they love their franchise cornerstone. And he is a magic man that Amy G is going to talk about. Amy, let's send it down to you for more on Mr. Franco. Yes, Scott, you're the only one who can't do it. Hey, the Rays aren't going to use it as an excuse, but they certainly could. They've been riddled with injuries this season. 23 players have missed time, but we think there's a ray of hope. They were able to recall that impact player, Magic Man, as you call them, Scott. Their shortstop, Wander Franco, he went on the aisle May 31st with a strained right quad. That was a gut punch for this club. The rookie phenom last season. Fans, of course, remember that incredible 43-game on-base streak. And the Rays, they know a good thing when they see it. They locked him up, signing him last November to an 11-year, $182 million contract. So does Wander make a difference? Well, you tell me. Before he went on the IL, the Rays went 26-14 and 14 when he played shortstop. They went 14-18 and 18 when he didn't play or he dh But here's the big one. During his absence, they went from six Six games back in the AL East to 12 and a half behind the Yankees. So if fans are wondering what's going to flip the script for the Tampa Bay Rays, it's a healthy Wander Franco. Gentlemen. Yes, it's magic Wander in the lineup batting second. Thank you, Amy. We'll show you that Tampa Bay lineup. Then first pitch time in Canada coming at you free globally cruising on YouTube.